When I was playing with the Cubs, Mark Grace and Steve Lake and Mike Morgan wanted to come out and watch one of my horses race in the worst way. And when you play for the Cubs, you have so many day games. Right. And my horses always raced at night. So we finally had a Friday, Friday in Chicago <laughs> where we had a day game and I had a horse named Doomsday that I really thought could not lose. And so I was trying, kind of waiting for the perfect opportunity. I certainly didn't want to take four or five guys out to the races and have them watch one of my horses finish up the track. So this was a perfect, perfect race. This horse's name was Doomsday. And I thought he couldn't lose if he fell down. And so for about three or four days prior, I was really like, okay, I'm gonna ask, I'll see if they wanna go Friday. And I remember I went up to Mark Grace before a game on Thursday and I said, hey, I've got one in tomorrow, tomorrow night at Sportsman's Park. Do you wanna go, these guys wanna go? And he goes, yeah, we'll all go. So we get there, we have the game Friday, game's over. We all drive separate. We get to Sportsman's Park, and I don't think this horse can lose. And the guy that was training my horse is Tim Storm. We go in the paddock before the race, and he comes up to me, and he goes, is that uh, Mark Grace and Steve Lake and Mike Morgan? I said, yeah. He goes, I got some bad news. He didn't warm up very good, thinking about scratching him. And I remember just going, oh, you got to be kidding me. He races, and he wins by the hair on his chinny chin chin. I mean, Mitch, if it would have been a one mile in one foot race, he would have lost. <laughs> he won probably by the width of a credit card. But I remember they thought it was the greatest. They were in the winner's circle picture afterwards. Nice. I was disappointed because I thought that he was in a race where he should have won by a lot more than he did. But that was kind of what we were talking about. Right. Like, where you got a bunch of guys onto one of your horses and he won, but I thought he was going to win a lot oh, easier than he it's won. It's nice that uh, guys who are making a million plus got to win and a guy who was struggling for a dime went home without any cash. Thanks, Dan. Well, that's the way it goes. You know, it's that old <laughs> adage, it takes money to make money. <laughs>